What are you doing here? Alright guys, so there you have it. There is the opening cutscene and backstory for the game D. Uh, presented by Acclaim. I didn't do the review yet, so I have no idea if they developed it. They probably just published it, right? Oh, pro yeah, Warp Inc. probably uh, developed it. Anyway, we're playing the GOG version. Because unfortunately, I do not own the PS1 or Saturn version. Um, the PS1 version is very expensive, it's like over, well over $100 complete, and the Saturn one I want to say is close to $100. If I end up enjoying this game, I probably will pick it up on the Saturn because I like these horror slash, uh, suspense games. Even though I will say that these type of adventure-y, like I feel like this is going to be somewhat similar to Myst, right? I'm not very good at them, I'll tell you that right now. Um, <clears throat> so... Let's get this out of the way. This is my first playthrough, okay? We're totally not getting it done this morning. I only have about 50 minutes before work starts. There's a two hour time limit on the game though, so that, that's good. That means if we know what we're doing, we'll be able to beat it in well less than two hours, most likely. Um, I'm probably gonna die a bunch, and here's how I'm gonna edit it, just so you guys know. Pretty much, We'll play until we die, and we'll definitely do it a couple of times, but if I end up getting to the point where I'm not making any progress, <clears throat> I'll probably look up a guide, and, um, yeah, we'll just kind of figure it out from there, you know? We'll, uh, we'll point myself in the right direction, so to speak, and it, it, this playthrough will probably be, like, kind of like a supercut, 
because uh, unless I get incredibly lucky, there's going to be lots of deaths and lots of restarts. I don't know how this game works. I know you can't save it, so it's possible that you have to start from the beginning every time. It's a very slow plotting game. Um, I have the manual open. The GOG version comes with, I guess, the PC manual. And uh, no matter how much I mess with the settings, I can't get this to go borderless. So I can't scroll on my manual, so I just have it set in the operation section just to uh, let me know about the, the controls. It's pretty much the keypad. Um, the space bar seems to be like the action button, and I seems to open up the inventory, and that's kind of where we are. So without any further bullshitting, let's get this going. Also, I apologize about audio mixing. Uh, this game's audio is really weird. It sounds like, incredibly compressed, and there's a lot of like instances of uh, very like high-pitched audio. Like out of nowhere, like it'll just like be like super loud. I tried my best to mix it, so. That's a very ominous full moon. So her dad went on a mass murdering spree at this hospital in Los Angeles. That's all I know, really. I'm going to try not to talk too much during the cutscenes. We'll save all the talking for when I'm confused. Looks like he killed everybody. So my question is, how many, f what the fuck? What? By the way, guys, I've never seen this game played or beaten before, so. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. So many bullets. I'm starting to wonder if he actually did it or not. Okay, we're warped somewhere. You know, yeah, I thought so. Okay, I think this is where the game starts. So it doesn't look like we're in a hospital anymore. And remember, guys, we have a time limit. I guess if you just run up to the two hours, you just instantly die, probably. Looks like there's a door there. I'm gonna have to get used to the control, uh, like the compressed graphics. Wait, what's over here? Hold up. Oof. Really? That's a whole turnaround? It looked like there was a, some kind of glass case or something over here. Oh no, it's a painting. Okay. Well, I'd still like to look at it though. No, 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 I didn't. Oh my god. I'm not trying to leave. Okay, well, guess I can't look at that. There's definitely going to be a big learning curve here with, uh, you know, since this is like an FMV, first person, old school game, you know, there's clearly set movements, right? Laura. 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 Laura, this is your father. Okay, Darth Vader. <laughs> Laura, go back. You must not cross over to this side. This is another world born of my own mind. Laura, go back. Come further and your world will be closed off from you. Laura, I'm... 
Now I wonder, does my in-game timer go off when I'm watching cutscenes? I would hope not. That'd be really shitty. Is this a door? Okay, looks like we have a walkway over here. And a set of stairs. Right, anything to the left? A mirror? What the fuck? Was that like a, a hand or something? Bro, tell me I just died already. Well. <laughs> Let's go ahead and not do that, I guess. And as you guys could probably uh, expect, this game is apparently puzzle laden and I'm terrible at puzzles, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we have a spike wall. So I would wager that if I interact with this, I'm probably gonna die. What the hell is this? Oh my God, this is really jarring because this moves at like 60 FPS and everything else is like 10. Um. Oh, that's the clock to tell me what time. Okay. I think you have until 5. It's like 3 a.m. to 5 or something like that. Can't quite remember. That's my... Uh... Cat was destroying my couch, so I have to throw my... Whatchamacall? Creature from the Black Lagoon Frisbee at her. It's foam, by the way, don't worry. Okay, don't know what that is. Does that mean I can't do anything, I guess? All right, I clearly need something to interact with this. Um, all right, so to back out, you literally press back. I'm gonna go ahead and not go that way. I, I don't think that could be good. I feel like we have to do something with this barrel before we even think about <laughs> going that way. That oh shit, I didn't son of a bitch. Don't interact. Okay, good. By the way, I heard that the best version of this game is um I think there was like a director's cut released either on 3DO or Saturn. I can't remember exactly what it was, but what do we got here? We got nothing, and there's two doors, right? I guess we'll just go straight ahead for now. Boom. I mean, I'm sure I'll end up hating this game at some point because of the puzzles and I'm stupid, but right now yeah, I'm kind of enjoying it, you know? Uh, oh, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up, people. That looks like the thing, doesn't it? We have a fireplace. We got the exit here. I don't know what the hell that is. Some kind of tapestry. This looks like the thing inside my uh, my locket or whatever. Doesn't it? Take a look again real quick. Two, three, four. Hmm. Okay. Four was definitely off screen. How do I choose which one? Ah, oh, fuck. What did I do? Uh. Okay, there we go. Two was the one that was like most shown, and looks like there's nothing there, of course. Okay. 
That's not right. Five wasn't shown at all. And I don't think one's involved. So I wonder if I have to open these in a specific pattern, maybe. Nothing. Oh. I was right. And that looks like that's something for the barrel, right? I saw that in the opening cutscene. I didn't know what the hell that was. I thought maybe it was going to be some kind of Resident Evil crank. Okay. Well. Let's back out. Let's look at the rest of the room before we go do anything with the barrel. I feel like we're probably done there, right? Why did you turn around so much? Jesus. I wanted to look at the fireplace. Oh, it's because I'm in like a weird spot, I see. So we gotta back up, right? No? What the hell? So if we step forward and I turn right, I could look at the tapestry. Or not. <laughs> Didn't it seem like you could like interact with it? All right, can I walk forward to this fireplace? All right. Well, the graphics are terrible, but that looks like it's a key, correct? Okay. Can I investigate my inventory? Does it work like Resident Evil at all, or...? I think we're done here. Oh yeah, wow, I got a bigger inventory now. This thing, what is this? Hmm. I don't think I could, like, read any more info, which kind of sucks, actually. Oh, you have a bigger look at that tapestry or painting. Okay. All right. Um, I guess we'll check this out. Closet. Oh. Fuck. Okay. I thought we were just gonna get killed. I'm actually quite confused right now as to what's going on. So her dad killed everybody at the hospital with some sort of magic gun. <laughs> and we got warped into some weird, like, figment of his mind or something? I don't really know. It's very odd. Anyway, I think we're done up here. So... We can go to the barrel, right? Was there, oh, there was another door right here. I'm glad that it showed me right away. I didn't even think to check that. I guess we'll see. Okay, weird. There's a lot of, like, in-between points that are kind of strange. Is there anything else over here of note? I guarantee you if you try to leave the double doors, you die, so let's check out this door. <clears throat> Locked. We did just get a key. Hmm, should I go forward? You know, I still think that... I feel like the barrel is probably part of a bigger puzzle, but I feel like ultimately um, we're not going to be able to get past that spike trap. I feel like that spike trap's going to do something. I don't think whatever liquid comes out of that barrel is going to stop that. So let's see. Is his arm going through the wall? 
Jesus. Not sure if there's any interacting going on there or if that's simply you know just for the, the scare factor was there something else here okay good I was gonna say like I am befuddled at that point unless we have to pour whatever liquid comes out of the barrel on that guy <clears throat> Oh, there's something there. How do I get to that? Stop. Oh my god. Do I step forward? Okay. See, there. Are, it's, it's tough to explain if you've never played this game before. Like, I would have never really thought, oh, I gotta walk forward for that. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, let's take a look here. Uh, huh? <clears throat> hmm. Do I have to manually stop this or something? Oh wow, that's kind of tough, huh? The fuck? <laughs> well, uh, I don't think we got any kind of clue, did we? Hmm. Maybe we do go interact with the barrel. Yeah, we don't really have anything. Huh. Anyway, I guess we leave. So we unlocked the door. I don't know. I'm starting to think that I probably do have to go back out towards that barrel area. Hmm. Guys, I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm going to die soon. Just to let you know. I definitely have not found any kind of, like, hints revolving around a safe or whatever the fuck that is. Some kind of puzzle combination box, I don't know. But I guess we could try the barrel opener here and see what happens. Maybe the hint's in here. I don't know. Either that or imminent death. God damn it. Oh, is it moving it? Oh, okay. <clears throat> yes, I bet you if you tried to pass by, you get spiked to death. That's fine. Is that all that was? So the barrel controls the spikes. Seems so. Okay, I guess we're gonna continue on. Did I miss something? I don't think I did, right? I don't think so. We're looking for two numbers. You don't think the numbers could be three and five, do you? Because like I said, apparently the game starts at 3 p.m. <clears throat> and you have a... Oh! Well, there you go. Those are two numbers. Seven and eight. Okay. Let's go back and do that. So I'm assuming like if you speed run, you know, and you know all the puzzles and all that kind of shit, you do that first and then you come over here. I got gotcha. you. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like this game. It's very like a uh, broody and atmospheric. I could totally see, you know, a lack of replay value aside from like, oh, I want to beat it in like fucking 40 minutes or something. But I don't know, it's kind of cool. I 
I kind of wish they made more games like this. I know that there's like similar-ish games, but they seem to be a little bit more puzzle heavy and that's not really my style. So far, these puzzles seem bearable. I'm sure, you know, there's going to be a fucking horrible one soon, but. <clears throat> Can I like, skip any of these? Probably not. All right, seven, eight. Probably unlocks that door. I didn't even check to see if the door was locked, but it doesn't really matter. Like I said, guys, <clears throat> excuse me, allergies this morning. Uh, I have a hard cut off in about 20 minutes, so even if I don't die, I'm going to have to... Uh, basically like stop and start over again at some point i'll fill you guys in on any weird shit that needs to occur <clears throat> oh my god i fucking pressed the wrong button all right so oh it goes backwards that's right god damn you what No. Okay, so this like automatically goes back to eight. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Oh no, did I like fuck myself here? How am I gonna do this? <sighs> Why? This is actually like fucking annoying. Dude, I'm gonna have to line this shit up. I can't manually do this. Oh, this is dumb, dude. Yeah, I think even if I get this on seven, it's not gonna do it right away. So how many numbers is it? Oh, wait, what? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So if it moves back nine, huh? Would it be on zero or one then? All right, so we got seven. So I, that's good, I guess. I guess I'll try one if I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey! Wait, why did it go back nine before? I don't know. So we have a ring. Also, guys, I'm keeping my notes. So when I inevitably have to restart the game, uh, I can get back quick. <clears throat> Well, as quick as possible, I suppose. Okay, so we have a ring. Um, let's continue on back to that door then, I suppose. So far, so good. I feel like uh, we're doing all right, you know? So we're gonna go back to the barrel room. Let's see what's going on there. Also, as far as like in-game time goes, uh, like I said, I can't access my OBS during this recording because no matter what I tried, I couldn't get this to go borderless. Um, probably some kind of DOS box issue, but uh, I feel like we're only at about like maybe like a half hour or something. So obviously, like you could tidy this up in a big way. I could probably cut off 10, 10 to 12 minutes, I would say so far. You know, knowing what to do immediately. I do hope that any future puzzles, though, aren't like slot machine mechanics <laughs> like that last one was. It was kind of annoying. 
All right, let's go. <clears throat> okay. Actually, like randomly like super cold this morning that's probably why I'm all stuffed up all right looks like we're going to the basement I, again, I'm very sorry about all the throat clearing this morning. I know I probably sound like DSP at this point, but I'm having a rough morning, apparently. It's probably going to be our last room that we look in. Seems like there's a bit of stuff to look at, so. We have a door. We got a fireplace. Oh, whoa, 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 hold up. What was that? <clears throat> Let me see this again. Chicken, bunny, deer, and then something on the left. What well, was on the left? Horse. That might be a puzzle later, guys. We don't know. We don't know. <clears throat> Okay. You know, <clears throat> sucks that I can't access my OBS because I constantly mute myself and clear my throat, but, you know, apparently there's no such... Oh, shit. Okay, so... Can I look at this a little better? How do I do this here? The horse was on the left. I know that, so... So that should be it, right? The horse was on the left. The chicken was on the right. I do remember that. And the deer was on the bottom. That should be it. I think. Do I just back off? Did, did anything happen? Well, all I'm gonna say is this. That's what the fucking thing showed. No! Did something go wrong? Or is it opening? Oh, I think I got- I think I died. Okay. Never mind, we didn't die. <laughs> I actually got out of that room a lot quicker than I thought I would. Is that a chain on the door? It looks like it is, right? I did not mean to open that, but I guess I'll continue. 
Is he holding something? Or is he praying? Ooh, there's a key! What is that other thing? Looked like a weird, like, electrical socket. I thought there was a... Like, a chain lock on that door. I was just trying to investigate it. I did not think I was gonna be able to go in. Okay. Is she just afraid? Or is it, like, rigor mortis? <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, we got a key. That's good, I guess. I'm waiting for, like, some jump scare where I turn around and some shit just fucking yells at me. Can I look at that? No. Okay, so we got a key. Let's move forward and check out this room a little bit more, I guess. That is definitely some kind of puzzle that I don't have the answer for right now. Right? Has to be. What do we have over here? Uh, looks like a patented missing book puzzle, does it not? Oh, fuck. Am I gonna have to, uh... I hope that it's just a missing book and not like a... You have to swap the books. <sighs> okay. Nope. Oh. I think I've run up against it. I have to do something with this, don't I? Yeah, I can't interact with it, so it you definitely have to put an item there. So that's good. That means it's not going to be some, like, complete trash. Trash puzzle. It's an item puzzle. It's an item puzzle. All right, well, we got a key. So I guess we can go back to the bedroom, maybe? Oh, my God. I apologize for all the horrible movements, guys. <clears throat> Sometimes I f oh my goodness do I like step forward and then turn around probably you, you really got to get used to it it's very odd I guess like sometimes I want it to be more free flowing but it's not like a first person game you know what I mean I actually wonder how this game would do in a, like a remake you know in like a first person style It'd be pretty cool like uh, what I mean by that is walking around freely. <clears throat> Did I look at that thing over here? Was this locked? Whatever this is. Oh my god. How do I like walk up to that table? Can I walk up to the table? No. Fuck. Okay, that seems like it's not... Nothing. Dude, don't you think I, like... <sighs> hmm. I have a key. I have to use it either in this room or the other room. Hmm. Can I get to that thing? That looks like a drawer. But how do I fucking get to it, dude? The movement's like fucked. Cause if I turn right Oh, well. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I guess I just wasn't in the right uh plane of vision or whatever the fuck. Alright, let's go ahead and use this. Oh, 
And there's a book, people! Let's go back to the other room and put the book in. Cool. I gotta admit, this is fun. Um, I will say, though, that the price point for the GOG version is a lot more bearable than... Um, you know, like it would be if I bought the PS1 version for fucking $120 or something ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like, this game's pretty short, and it's not like a platformer or like an RPG with builds, so it's kind of like it is what it is. This is definitely a game that, uh, if you get it, like, you know, you're like a huge fan of it, and you're just like for a collector's purpose. I would like to get it at some point, but I don't want to break the bank for it. That seems a little excessive. I think I got it for like five bucks or four bucks on GOG, so definitely, uh, you know, a little bit, a little bit more uh, bearable in in line with what type of game it is. That being said, I am enjoying it. It's fun. I. If you do not, you'll never be able to return to your own world. Do you understand, Laura? Quickly! Huh. So I have a bunch of theories that I'm going to riff on before I stop my part of my playthrough here, but I want to put the book into the shelf. <laughs> and guys, this isn't like a no death run. This is a first playthrough. So the fact that I'm going to end up, you know, obviously having to stop for work and picking back up, I'm going to count this as a death. Okay. Cause I have to restart the game, obviously and get back to this very point, but let's put the book in and see what happens. And that's kind of where we'll stop, and since I'm not, you know, giving a fuck at this point, since I do have to shut this off. Uh, after this, okay, looks like it's another pathway, and I believe that's the only way that we can go. So that's where we're gonna end up picking up. I will also try to make sure that I interact with everything that I interacted with on the first go-round, if that makes sense. Um, because I know there's different endings, and I don't know what that means exactly. You know what I mean? Could be something as simple as looking at something that triggers a different ending. I have seen this room before. I think this opens doors, and I think this is really annoying and very clunky. So this is a good place to, <laughs> to leave off. And this is probably where I'm going to end up actually dying in this game, because I think uh, you probably get branched off into paths that don't matter. But we'll see. I don't know for sure. Uh, and also, I just wanted to get my, my thoughts out of the way here before we conclude uh, this segment, if you will. Um, I might combine everything together into one part of the playthrough. I don't know yet. But uh, I'm starting to think that potentially Laura killed herself at the the news of her father. I'm also starting to think that potentially Laura is the killer. And she's like fucking just crazy. Those are like my two things right now. Because I feel like him being the murderer and going on this mass killing spree and you coming to find him or to figure out what's going on. It just seems kind of odd, doesn't it? Like, where are the authorities? You know what I mean? It just seems very weird. Um, obviously, you know, the cops, 911, all those people would have interjected at this point. So I think either Laura 
killed herself, she tried to kill herself, or she's actually the killer. It's one of those three things, but I guess we'll find out. All right, guys, so we're going to chalk this one up as uh, ran out of time. No time. Hashtag no time. 540, whatever. And uh, we'll pick back up in here, and I will try to retrace my steps exactly to how I got here. All right, guys, we're back. This is a new run. As I mentioned, I had to start work earlier. I also lowered the audio a little bit because it was pretty loud. It's still loud. The issue with this game is it's very, very low or it's very, very loud. So it's difficult for me to maintain uh, perfect audio levels. I don't want to talk too much, though, because this game is timed. We are making much better time this way through. Um, I also noticed that the uh, the animation cutscene that we just had where the door closes behind us, it plays twice. I, that's got to be a glitch, right? Either way, uh, we retraced our steps and we're here now. And I do remember that this revolves. This is some kind of puzzle. And I think it opens doors and that's all I know. I have seen this before, but I haven't seen like where it goes or what you do with it really. But as of now, we're locked in and this is all we can do. I feel like this is going to be very tedious. Um, okay, so... What do we got? Okay, yeah, it, it changes the doors, I see. Okay, so one turn is nothing. gonna probably take literally five minutes but we got to keep doing this until we, <laughs> we figure it out right um sorry banged into my desk all right two turns is also nothing there's gonna be multiple rooms and then we have to figure out where to go all right i anticipate probably i'm gonna have to replay the game again i feel like we're probably not gonna get it on this attempt either but you know, each, each attempt further we go, we get new stuff. Okay, there's a door. So three turns is a door. We just got to map this out for future reference here. So three turns is a door. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is clunky, but it's not that bad. I was expecting worse. All right, nothing. So three turns is a door. This is five turns. And then I'm assuming it resets once we get all the way through however many turns there are. Okay, five turns is also a door. So three and five. This is definitely a, a time-wasting area, though. There's, like, no way around it. Alright, so six turns is also a door. So it's three, five, six. Seven, we have nothing. Okay. Now I guess the other question is how many turns is there going to be? Is there going to be like a definitive end? Should I just start going through these doors? This is what, turn eight? And we've had three, five, six as doors. Turn eight is also nothing. It's possible that it looped. Because we did start with two uh, walls here. But if the next thing is a door, it's possible that it looped. If it's still a wall, then I think we're still going. Oh, 
Okay, so it's still a wall. That's turn nine. So I think we are still going. So three, five, six are doors. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna go into the next door and just start putzing around. Three, five, six, ten are doors. I don't know how many more turns there are, but we're just gonna start going. If we can, of course. Oh, this reminds me of, uh... Ashley's segment in Resident Evil 4. Are we gonna have a boulder get dropped on us? Is there quick time events in this game? I'm telling you, there's... Oh, did we just die? There are quick time events. I'm surprised they didn't do it for the, uh... For the boulder. Did I not do that quick enough? Yo, she's strong as shit. <laughs> I mean, I guess you get the adrenaline pumping, right? Because you're going to die. Oh, fuck me. How do I kill this thing? I don't have any weapons. Shit. Oh. Did I die? I might have died. Oh, there's a ladder up. I know I didn't press left immediately. I don't know how sensitive the quick time events are. Like some of the ones in Resident Evil 4, if you don't press them immediately. Are you shooting me? What the fuck is this bullshit? Dude, I pressed left immediately. Oh my god. Am I gonna have to keep going up the fucking ladder? Oh, this is gonna be brutal. I don't think the game is dirty enough to soft lock you. But I guess I didn't press it quick enough. So I'm gonna get my fingers on the keys immediately now. I didn't know it was gonna happen right away, and it seems to be very sensitive. What if I just mash it? Oh my god. Okay, so... I pressed the button by accident. <laughs> it seems to be very sensitive, so you have to wait for the prompt. Uh, do you have to like do it while it's blinking or something? Also, I gotta remember that this was the knight's room, I guess you'd call this. The knight's hallway. It was ten turns in that other room. Press it once, don't mash. Okay, so it's just looping over and over. So when she pulls herself up, I'm gonna have to be quick on my uh, triggers, but not too quick again. Because I think I was too quick last time. And it, if it stays the same, it's gonna be left. Dude! Oh my god, my hand was <laughs> Oh man, dude, my hand wasn't on the space bar. I didn't know the space bar was gonna happen. <sighs> it's fucking annoying. I'm starting to wonder, do you actually die in this game or do you just like get stuck in loops? And then like you run out of time and then you die. 
Uh, God, this is annoying. All right, just keep your composure. It seems like it's the same thing, so it'd be left, right, left, space. I wish you could, like, I don't know, didn't have to sit through the cutscenes every time, but I, I get it. I do. It's an old game. But, like, if you keep failing, especially at the end, it's, like, really annoying. Because now I gotta go through this left. Who knows what's after the space? So note to anybody that might be playing for this for the first time, at least on GOG, the uh, keyboard inputs are very sensitive and don't mash. One at a time and be careful. We got a sword, <laughs> it's an RPG now. Okay. Oh, are we gonna get chopped on the way back? Don't you dare. Don't touch me. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I was definitely expecting a quick time event on the way out. Cool. Okay. So that was turn 10. Let's go back to this thing. Oh. Laura. 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 Soon I will no longer be the man you know. I can feel my control slipping away. Quickly, before mm. that happens. You must leave here. I want you, of all people, to be safe from me. Laura, there's nothing I can... Okay. What is he turning into? He's already murdering people. Weird. Okay, back to the twisties. So, what is it? Three, five, six we did not do. And this is turn 11. At least I think it is. I hope there's like a clear reset. And I actually hope there's not that many more doors. Because <laughs> we've already skipped three of them so far, so. Okay. Nothing. And this would be turn 12. What do we have? Wall, door. The door. Okay. Looks like there's steel bars. What the fuck is this? Oh no, what did I do? Bro. Uh, I'm being stabbed. Is this happening? Fuck me, dude. It's like a scarab. The fact that I keep saying D, I feel like I died. Did I die? I think I died. Oh, thank goodness. So, do you not die in this game? Because, like, I'm okay with that. 
Just simply running out of time, if that's the only death thing, I actually really like that. I'm not gonna lie. Because having to redo this over and over and over and over it would be really bad. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, what I believe to be 12. I don't know. I think I, like, possibly have to just start looking at other doors. This might be 13. I think I'm just going to start looking at the doors from now on. Because I don't know if that was a loop. I don't know if that was a new door. I feel like that's like a lot of turns though. You know what I mean? Like this is either looped back around somehow or this is like turn 14. I say let's just go in the next doors and see what happens. And I gotta remember that the knight's room was 10, and that steel bar thing was 12. We know that for a fact. This appears to be a different door. Is that water? Or is that just a blue floor? I can't tell. There's a treasure chest. Oh! I'm actually not trying to be overly dramatic, that actually kind of like <laughs> jolted me. Okay, so I'm not gonna go do that. That means you'll die. Or the game will let you go down there, one or the other. Okay. Interesting. But I have to remember that, that there was a door with a chest. So let's just keep spinning until we get another door. Which, uh, might be the turn after this one. I feel like there's no possible way that there's like 30 different turns. That seems a little excessive. I'm going to say that it's somewhere... Somewhere in the 10 to 15 range, I think, would be the total turns. I already lost count what turn I'm on now, though, to be honest with you. So let's just check this door and see. We definitely have to go back and do something. This is new. I guess we'll see. I think we're done with the knight's room. The steel bars might open up when we figure out everything here. Not positive though, don't quote me on that. And we need to do something to get that chest, whether it's like we get like a, I don't know, like a rope or. What the hell is that? Okay. This is like reminding me of Resident Evil here a little bit. I think we're doing okay on time still. I think we're at about like 36 minutes or so. Alright, there's water. There's another statue revolving around water. Aquarius. In a bunch of colors, huh? Okay, so there is a treasure chest and some kind of puzzle. It looked like there was a door over here, too. Oh, I, okay. What do we got? Is that another ring slot? Oh, 
Well, we can't use the ring. We've already used- that doesn't look like a key slot. Could it be the sword? <laughs> the sword's clearly a puzzle piece because you're not attacking things in this game. Let's see. Oh, for the record. Oh. I guess it worked. Uh, for the record, when you use an item incorrectly, it just doesn't work. I used a couple incorrectly when I was trying to get back to where I last left off. Anyway. Um, okay. Guess we'll go up. Gotta remember that there was a bunch of colors. So we need to figure something out. Is that a telescope? I'm just back down the stairs now. Okay. Is this gonna tell me something? Did the game freeze? Oh my god, did the game freeze? Guys. Oh, thank goodness. Was that my hint? What? Uh, I'm gonna take a picture of this. Is that all I got here? What is this? Holy shit. Hold on. Oh, fuck. It was a... The statue was Aquarius, right? There was other statues out there, wasn't there? Okay, um, I need to get some notes here. Hold on. What is the Aquarius? I can't go on my computer. That's right. So I can't write on my notepad. I got to do it on my phone. Uh, Aquarius symbol. Is like the water wave thing. Okay. And what is... I don't know what this was. Here, let me take a picture of this too. Bloop. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Let's take a look, I guess. I feel like we're gonna run out of time. I'm gonna have to keep taking pictures here. Oop. Okay. Back up. Back over. Grab. Move up. Back up. Go over. And do it right the first time. Oh, there's some red in there, huh? Oh nope. <laughs> there wasn't red. It was actually my uh my keyboard. One of the buttons is orange and it was coming up on the screen as red as a reflection. All right, so this is... Whoa! How many are there? Well, now I gotta freaking go through the whole gamut of here again. This should be the Aquarius statue, though. I guess there was other statu... There was another statue outside. I know that for a fact. Uh, I think they're all just different colors. I think this is actually gonna be an easy puzzle. You just have to match up the signs, right? That's what I'm seeing anyway. I also gotta hurry up. I'm approaching an hour. It's like pinkish. Alright, well, after this last one here, there's really no other choice but to go try the puzzles. You know what I mean? Pretty much have everything we need. A 
looks like orange. Alright. Alright, got all my pictures. Let's go back down and start fucking with the puzzles, I guess. It's probably literally as simple as match the colors with the uh, statues, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. So according to my photos, let's see, one, two, three, four, Aquarius should be blue, which makes sense, water, right? But what's the, I guess we'll start over here, the bow and arrow statue, we didn't look at that one yet. Don't walk to the fucking fountain, thank you. All right, bow and arrow statue here. Let me see. Let me see. Well, oh, a Sagittarius. Okay, so this should be green. How do I like press the right button? I want to press the wrong button here. There we go. Should be this. If my notes are right, and then Aquarius should be blue light blue if i actually investigated that statue it could have got out of here a lot quicker yeah it should be light blue because they were light blue success but we are approaching an hour and it's a two hour time limit oh okay so we can get whatever is in there now Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, let's go back uh, in or whatever. So did I come out of a different door or was it this door? I feel like I came somewhere else. Yeah, I came out of here. So I should... <sighs> Was there a downstairs on that tower? I think I have to turn myself back to that, um, the room with the spikes. So... Fuck. Yeah, I think we're gonna be turning a while here. Because we just encountered it, right? So we're gonna be turning for a little bit. Like, it's it's already past us, and we know that it's like at least like seven or eight turns at, at the minimum. So basically, I'm gonna turn around after this next one, or the one after that. And if it's the knight's room, then I know exactly how many that we have to turn. So let's, let's turn around after this one and see. If it's the knight's room, then we know the steel bars are two after that. Okay, so it's nothing. It might be one more turn for the knight's room. Excuse me. All right, let's see if this is the knight's room. We're just gonna open the door. We'll go back. Okay, we know, all right, cool. So we're gonna turn it. Two more turns will be that weird like scarab flashback steel bar thing, which we don't need. So one. This is two, and that should be the steel bars. I'm gonna turn around to verify though. Just to see. 
Yep, okay. So now we gotta turn it two or three more times. I think the next door is gonna be the basement door. And then the next door after that should be back to the outside area, which means there's one more door, which it was what, three, five, six. It was six turns from the beginning, whenever that would be. So this should be wall. Yeah. It should be another wall. I'm just gonna keep turning because I actually just lost <laughs> I lost track in my mind, but this should be another wall, and then it should be the basement. Okay. Cool. So this should be the basement, which we should be able to get the treasure chest now. And then two more turns would be that outside area. So it would be three turns, I think. Yep, okay, cool. Yeah, another turn should be a wall. The one after that should be the outside area that I don't need to go to. And the one after that should be the last, what I believe to be the last room of this part anyway. Okay, good. A really old gun. Huh. Okay. Alright. Let's go back up and turn three times. And if it's not three times and we're kind of screwed, we're going to have to turn this fucking... Oh. Transform. When that happens, my new self will have need of you. This other self is one I cannot control. It is he who has done these horrible things. Laura, leave here. He wants you. All right. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Um, that was the basement, so... One. I'm gonna turn after this next turn to verify that it's a door. And if it is, then I'm going to turn back and turn it one more time and go through that door. And that should be, other than the steel bar door, which I don't know if we're actually going through or not, was the only one that I haven't looked at yet. Yes, it should be the outside, so we don't need to do that. Alright, this should be the next door. <clears throat> Let's see. As long as it's not outside, and as long as it's not the knight's room, then this is indeed... Okay, cool. The fuck? Well, uh, pretty sure we went everywhere.
bash it with this. No. No keyholes. Are we shooting this? Apparently we are. Interesting. So this is like a castle. Like, I mean, we kind of had, you know, the impression that it was. Everything's really old, too. I'm not controlling any of this, by the way. Did that... wait... Was that the outside? Or is this the front? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I think that was the outside. Yeah. yelling Laura, do not come to me the one who I am to become needs blood for the change to be complete was he like I've seen what he will do and it is your blood that he wants most Laura we are cursed in our veins flows the blood of Dracula. What? We're vampires? The fuck? These walls look fucking weird, don't they? Am I tripping? Uh, actually, they all look kind of weird, don't they? Well, it looks like it's either I walked down the hall. It's kind of odd, though. They're letting me, like, touch the sides of the walls here. I don't have any items, though. Oh, fuck. Hold on. All right. Quick timing, man. Oh. Puzzle? Dude, for a second, I thought it was like the morning sun, and I'm like, oh, fuck me, I'm gonna die that time. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, God, this is gonna be bad. <sighs> okay. Well. There's gears, two levers, and a switch. And there's some kind of like red marking or something in between the gear holes. Oh, we probably, you probably have to do something with the middle, right? You know what I'm talking about? Possibly. <laughs> well. Only got about an hour left, so we'll see how this goes. So this is that. All right, let's just start whacking away. Oh, 
What? Hold on. Hold up. One, two, three. Wait, hold on, hold on. Is this down, middle, up? Okay, I see. Oh, okay, so those switches were down, huh? Oh, boy. Hmm. Well, guess we're just going to have to start winging it. Uh... Okay, I see. I mean, like, I kind of get what we're supposed to do, but I don't know how to get there. Does that make sense? So when they're in a neutral position, the right side just moves. Oh my god, guys. This I we actually like legitimately might take the entire hour doing this. So we were kind of here before. So, where do I... Oh man. Okay. So we gotta get that red dot through that right hole. And when this isn't neutral, it just moves there. And when that's up, they both move. When that's down, they both move. This is actually, like, kind of confusing. I hope I just get lucky. That would be a big bummer if I, uh... Yo! We were like super close. Fuck. And I feel like this is one of those puzzles where like, there's no answer to it unless you do it right away. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I can't even leave. I think we're stuck here. Oh no. Oh. Wait. No. Dude, we're like so close, like, the bo uh, the thing is right by the hole, but I don't quite get it. Is it down there that we're gonna have to match it, or where? Alright, now I'm just gonna investigate the hole here. Okay, so we're gonna need it there, clearly gonna have to be right there <gasps> wait a minute guys oh hold on hold on is it <sighs> if it's like if they're both down does the, this just move yes <laughs> let's go I was like, please, please, please have the right fucking thing. Because for a second, I thought I was going to end up moving it. That's not too bad. You can kind of, like, clunk your way through that, I guess. Hey, I'm not controlling this.
Is that the person from the flashback? Doesn't that look familiar? The outfit? But I don't see like a scarab. Uh... Oh, is she holding it or are those rosaries? Sending through somebody's butthole right now. That's her dad, right? Am I in the hospital or am I in the castle still? So, Laura, you've come. Now I will tell you everything. Hear me and leave. Before the one who is not me can emerge. Laura, in our veins flows the blood of Dracula. The time of change comes to all of his blood. It starts with lust for the strange. Then comes the desire for human flesh to make the change complete. Yes, Laura, that time came for you as well. I erased the memory, so you have forgotten. When Dracula took control of you, with those very hands you killed your mother. Mm. It is our fate to be accursed. And now you know you must leave. I feel myself changing. that I need, just as you needed your mother's. Come to me! Uh, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Well, I can't go back. I either go to him... Can I shoot him? Shooting vampires doesn't do anything, though. <laughs> he's not a werewolf. Although, if he's, like, metamorphosizing or some shit... Could be weak, maybe? Fuck, is it like all a hallucination though? Did I just kill him for no reason? Laura, you've ended it. Thank you. A little more, and the change would have been complete. Perhaps as a doctor. I wanted to see how the transformation would affect me, but that was wrong. And now I will end my life as a man of flesh and blood. Laura, thank you. I love you. My last wish is that... 
Oh, don't cliffhang me, bro. I think there is a sequel on Dreamcast, if I remember correctly. Okay, I'm a little confused. So we're back in the hospital now. My confusion lies... Was he... how was... I don't know. Was he transforming in some alternate dimension? So Laura technically killed her mom and her dad now, and they're vampires? But are they not... Like, wasn't she in school or something in San Francisco? I'm, I'm a little confused. Like, how is she not, like, burning up in the sun? I feel like she got there at night, which makes sense, but... Hmm. I had to do a little bit more reading. I think there's also multiple endings, too, so I don't know if that was the good or the bad one. Probably the good one, right? Because the bad one would probably be give yourself to your dad or whatever. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let the credits roll. I know this is probably very loud, so I'm not going to really talk too much over it. I will be doing a review for this game. This was a very interesting experience. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, um... I might splice in the other endings for you guys if you're curious. If you enjoyed, make sure to like the video, comment, I do my best to reply to comments on all videos, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys with some more Bits and Gory 2022 with the review for D the Game. Take care. Hmm, looks like I didn't get the complete ending, huh? Wanted to pop back in there. I don't know what I missed. Uh, potentially on the second way through, I... I don't know, maybe I forgot to look at something, because this was the second run, technically. Because I had to restart after, you know, work started and everything. Anyways. I guess that's it.